Come partner with us as we partner with God to help change lives in our community. Come find out more about our wonderful church at our new partners dinner on the 18th of September at the Tableview campus. Please sign up at the info desk. About a year ago we were sitting in life group and realized that there was more to life and, and it was just a decision we made in the life group setting that we wanted to give something back. And I was a year ago in hospital and saw the need there and realized that there's people that come into hospital with absolutely nothing and nobody. People from up country, they don't have visitors, they don't have connections, they have nothing and we just decided we were going to try it out at Fortescue and it's taken from there. And it's incredible because you don't spend that much time with the patient a few minutes and it's incredible how mm. much impact you can actually have in that two minutes. Yes, yeah. You can't actually imagine engaging with somebody, praying for them, having that much of an impact where you'll never see that person again. And to actually see them, the entire disposition change, the smile on their face and the, the thanks that you get, that's, it's just, it's overwhelming sometimes. Firstly, it was very nerve-wracking. I felt like a fish out of water the first time. Um, but, you know, once I'd been to that first one or two patients to pray for them, it, it was fine. Chat to them and just say, how are you doing? Connect first. They, we go to everybody. So if they are Muslim people, we'll go there and we'll, we'll offer prayer if they want to pray. And nine times out of ten it is accepted and we go forward from there. Different needs. When we initially walk in and they see a hygiene pack, is what we do, which is a face cloth, toothpaste, toothbrush, sweets, and a couple of other things. They often think we we're trying to sell something, but then when they realise, no, it's actually a gift, and we actually just want to connect with them and see how they are, where they at, do they need prayer? They open themselves up, and it's actually quite remarkable to see the effect it has on the people that we, we chat to, and the family members around as well. Well, it costs about 22 rand to have this pack make up, and made up, I should say, um, and basically, if any donations would be welcome. There was a, a story that we heard where we prayed for somebody on the Sunday afternoon, and the following day we heard that they passed away on six o'clock. So we were possibly the last person to actually pray for them at that particular mm. moment. And it kind of just, hit home that what you're doing at that moment can have unbelievable reaction eternity-wise at that particular time. In other words, you're thinking it's just a little visit, but for that person it could have been something a whole lot more. There was a guy that was there for seven months, so we saw him for seven months and saw how the prayer helped and, and, and his belief came alive as well. Um, it's really humbling to me but I, I really feel the patients are getting um, the most out of it. I even feel that the hospital staff are um, gaining something because they are hearing us pray. They are hearing us speak about God um, and they're seeing just what we do. Always, whenever I leave the hospital visit, I'm always more charged up than when I arrive. You would think it's yes, going to be yeah. tiring, etc. It's actually the complete opposite. Okay, I'd really encourage anyone that um, would like to come and visit with us at the hospital um, to at least try it once. It's really a life-changing experience and you're making such a difference to, to people's lives in such a short period of time. He, when, when we got to him, the last visit we were at, um, he was in quite a state, so we, he was the last person I went to. And when I prayed for him, or asked him if he wanted to pray, he said yes. I don't actually know if he understood what the prayer was about at that stage. But when we prayed, he held my hand and he was crying. Yes, God, yes, God. He was to lose his leg that evening. They were going to amputate his leg. So we prayed that God would save his leg. And I phoned on Tuesday. I followed up on Tuesday to see how he was doing at the nursing station. And he was fine and he hadn't lost his leg. Thank you, Jesus, he hadn't lost his leg. And I went to go see him the Wednesday. And when I walked in, it was quite awesome. He was saying, you saved my leg, you saved my leg. So I said, no, 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 I didn't, God did. And he said, will you pray for me again? So yes, I think just those steps will renew his faith and the hope that he has that Jesus does heal is phenomenal. He was telling his mom and that, so yeah. Also being a mom of three small kids, I don't have um, much time just to go and do a whole lot of things. Um, and with this, it's once a month, 
going to the hospital, it takes a couple hours out of your day. Initially I was petrified, but I must say I'm more comfortable now because I see God's hand in it and we can be the word for God in, in a very dark place where people need it.